Welcome back. There we go. Welcome back to Great Gym Live, guys. Uh, we have Sandy Glant here, and she runs a website called the Business and Body. And uh, she, you can't tell right now because she's carrying her pregnancy so well. She looks beautiful in her in her face. But if she stood up right now, you'd be able to see uh, that she. Is, I think you are two term, aren't you? I Bam. Am. Wow. <laughs> 38 weeks holy smoke yeah. that's nuts about mm -hmm. to be long but uh we're talking pregnancy and exercise today and how it's uh going against the status quo is going to be a very good thing for you and about nutrition what you can do for yourself along the way because i bet you there's some things that sandy that you found along the way that just like aren't what you thought were going to be and that uh and just like the plan that has changed along the way. But but first, can you, you kind of introduce yourself, tell, tell them a little bit about you, um, the, the, and just go nuts. Okay, cool. <laughs> so um, I guess, oh gosh, where to start? So I do, like, as you mentioned, I run um, a blog called businessandbody.com. And before I got pregnant, I, you know, was super into healthy eating. And, um, you know, I do have... A little bit of a sweet tooth I'll say a little bit with like <laughs> an enunciation there but I uh, you know I was always um, enjoyed eating healthy but I you know I did like um, you know those sweet treats and things like that so I would kind of find ways to make meals healthier I would um, you know my family we grew up my both my parents were working so it would be uh, you know hamburger helper for dinner or like just like these really cool right. meals. yeah like <laughs> <laughs> things that weren't uh, the healthiest, but, you know, it got the job done. It got dinner on the table and then out the door to whatever activities we were doing. Um, so for me, like, once I became pregnant, I it wasn't about me anymore. I mean, I always cooked healthy for my husband and I, but I was like, wow, this is such a huge responsibility um, in terms yeah. of what I'm like feeding myself and putting in my body, but also for my baby that's not even born yet, for him to establish, um, you know, the taste buds and what he's going to be set pretty much set the precedence for for the rest of his life uh, in terms of yeah. what it looks like for healthy eating, nutrition, and even working out during pregnancy and all the benefits that I'll get into, you know, for for why it's so amazing to work out during pregnancy. Yeah. Well, what like like what was the re like. Uh... Like, what's your view around the whole exercise while, while pregnant thing? So we just set the uh, presidents up, up front for people. So, okay. So, so like a little bit of a backstory on me. Again, I was, I was, you know, into health and fitness before I got pregnant, but I was so scared to get pregnant because I was like, oh my God, my body, like I'm good. I mean, every woman thinks this. I don't care if they say it out loud or not. <laughs> like you worry about how your body's going to change what it's going to look like, how you're going to, you know, bounce back. Like there's no woman out there that can tell me that they don't think about, you know, now they're going to be putting on this excess weight. So for me, when I started to have the conversation about, okay, well, like now we're married, like now the next step is, you know, we're going to start a family. I was like a little hesitant. I was like, let's put it off for another six months. You know, like I tried to put it off for a little bit. And then I got to a point where I was like, I'm ready. And I don't know exactly like what was the switch that went off in my mind. But I think that being able to help women like go through this journey while I'm doing it myself has been so helpful because, you know, you're connecting with each other. You, like as women, you know, we bond on, a, I feel like a deeper level than, than men can do, like, you know, all together. <laughs> so I guess. So from the out being better with men, yeah, I would say. Yeah, so you know, we share, we just get deep with each other. I mean, I have a a group actually on Facebook. It's called Operation Hot Mom Bod, and it's not just about uh -huh. like getting that hot body back, but it's about you know inspiring each other and helping each other and the motivation to to stay fit and active during pregnancy, um, and then after. So it's something that really helped me being really coming from a place of being scared and all the unknowns that happen with being a first time mom um, to help kind of venture through this, this chapter. Yeah, that's great. Like I love that when, uh, when people kind of create like a community around something that multiple people have a problem with and when they get together, they figure out like, 
like ways to kind of uh, like accomplish what they were going through or to talk about it and how much that helps each other out. Like, uh, the community of that aspect and how powerful that is just something that's kind of inspiring to me. I, I really like yeah. that. But, and it's nice too. Um, did you? Oh, What's that? No, I was saying no, that, I, um, that are in the group that are first time moms and then also other women that, you know, this is their second, third, or maybe fourth baby. And they're giving the new moms you know, all of the, the feedback and the little hat mom hacks and things like that. Yeah. So it's really cool for all of us to kind of come together. Yeah, totally. And I'm uh, like on point with you about like the, like the responsibility thing. I think uh, like people are like, they dump that for the excitement sometimes, like uh, the excitement of having a kid over like the responsibility of having a kid. Like you were creating a life. Like, yeah. Uh, like, like this, most mind-blowing thing imaginable it's just uh it's the amazing. Thing that you can do you know do it's the most um i think selfless thing because you now are putting someone else before you uh you know it's not just you and your partner anymore so it's something yeah. that like even that meant you know just mentally getting prepared not again mentally physically all of it it's all got to come together but that's where i think the support system is so huge yeah yeah, I I completely agree. What and we were talking about this on the break, like, uh, but like the the position that you take as mom, yeah, like uh, like the position and the responsibility that you take as mom is just absolutely amazing. Like that's something that just blows my mind. And like the idea that you're never not going to be mom, right? Yeah, you know, like this this like uh, your kid can grow up and be like fifty years old, you're still mom. You know, so right. I. I was telling you on the break, uh, so last night I had a, uh, my, my mom works out, she's worked out with me for 10 years, and like, uh, we didn't always have like a super tight relationship, but this was something that we just really kind of bonded over, was like, uh, what was like an exercise medium, it, it was really interesting, but, so she's worked out with me for 10 years, oh, and, amazing. and she's a boss too, she's super strong, goes really hard, like, just crazy, like, psycho, insane worker in the gym, she's amazing, oh, wow. but. Um, and everybody's totally inspired by her at the gym, and they should be. Cause it's like she started out doing zero chin ups, and now she's doing like four body weight, wow. and she can deadlift like I think she deadlifted two fifty five five times the other day. I mean, she's That's really pretty amazing. She didn't yeah. start lifting until like, ten years ago. So, um, so I'm like running around like just a crazy person trying to set up for the next uh, workout, and I'm changing weights, and I lean in to put a weight back and, uh, to put a weight away. And I nail a barbell right on the top of my head here. Oh. And I'm like, okay. And I run my hands through it. And I'm like, okay, well, it's just a little bit of blood. No big deal. And all of a sudden, it's just like, and I'm like trying. And my hands are It is disgusting, right? I could have probably saved the gruesome details. But I go um, there. And she's like, let me look at it. And she's like, you need stitches. And we make fun of her about the story where she almost cut her finger off. And she opened it up. And, and we're like, yeah, you need stitches. And she goes, I have people coming in two hours. And. I don't have time for this. And she just like oh. doesn't go get stitches until later. And uh, and I'm sitting there doing this. I'm like, I got people in the train. Like, I can't go. And uh, she's like, I understand. We're going to do class. I'm going to go get a suture kit, and I'll be back. And so she came back about like an hour, hour, 15 minutes later, and we went to the bathroom. She gave me four stitches, and that was it. Oh, my gosh. That's hashtag mom life. <laughs> like, so the mom job just never ends. It's such a big, cool thing. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but um well like tell me about what have you been doing with exercise? Like what exercises how did you attack the exercise game different from before and like uh since you've been pregnant? Like before yeah. you were pregnant and since you've been pregnant. So before I was pregnant, I I was going a lot harder than I am now. I mean, I was lifting a lot heavier sure. weights. I would work with um one program for anywhere from 30 to 60 days. Some of them were 90 days. <laughs> Excuse me. It just depended on the program that I was working with. And it was, it was you know, maybe seven different workouts, but it was uh, a lot of cardio, HIIT training, weight training, because um, I love lifting weights. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And I hate when women say they're scared of weights, because I'm like, it makes you look so sexy. It gives you, like, nice yeah, arms. Like, that's what it hurts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so that's one of my favorite, favorite exercises and workouts to do. Now being pregnant, I, so again, I'm nine months pregnant right now. I'm 38 weeks. 
And just up until about like seven and a half, eight months pregnant, I like I still had a lot of energy. I still was really keeping up with the, not lifting as heavy because I always tell women like you want to listen to your body. Like you don't want to push yourself to a place where you're like in your head, you're like, I can do this. But then your body, like, you know, if you can't get out a sentence during your, your workout, like you're, you're pushing yourself too hard. So I just really listened to my body and um, let my body tell me what I was going to do that day. So I'd wake up one day and it would be like a dance workout or I'd wake up and do a Pilates or a yoga um, if I needed something not as intense. But on like, right. it's so funny because within the past three days, I just got this like big burst of energy, which I don't know where it came from, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a little bit more. I did weightlifting because I was, you know, I had more energy to, to get through that. But I think, again, for every woman is different. You want to make sure you're cleared by your doctor first and foremost, because my doctor told me, you know, keep up with what you're doing and like stay consistent with the workouts. But don't do any. What's that? Good for your doctor. I I, I get all the time where doc, like doctors even write me like write us letter like write me letters because I I put this message out there that like I think women should exercise. They should lift yeah. all the way like throughout their yeah. pregnancy. And doctors write me letters saying how wrong I am. And it's just like well, and I'll write back and be like, show me any piece of research yeah. at all. Says that that's detrimental to the to the baby. And right, like, it's not out there. The reverse, right. where I looked at research that says all the benefits of yeah. the mom working out for the baby and for herself right. during yeah. pregnancy. Yeah, but you know, anyway, keep going with what you were doing with exercise. Now, I, I kind of so um, like I was saying, my doctor, my doctor cleared me for it. He said, keep doing exactly what you're doing. The only thing that he said was, you know, because I'm not, I'm not a big spinning fan. Like I'm not. I never was a big like cycler or like bike thing, like just never really got into it. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. You're not going anywhere. It's just boring. Yeah, yeah. So so that's one thing, you know, he said like don't don't no no physical sports, so no like kickboxing, um, taekwondo, you know, anything where there's like punches coming at me. <laughs> um yeah. and then no okay. Yeah, and then nothing that um I haven't like done before. So I was like, okay, well, that's easy because I've done a plethora of workouts that will keep me more than busy for the next 10 months. <laughs> so, uh, again, I'm 38 weeks. I did my workout this morning. Uh, what did I do? So I did a pregnancy workout, actually, so which was weightlifting, um, a lot of holds because, you know, you have your, your holds during labor and whatnot. And uh, they say that when you work out, uh, so when the baby is born, they get what's called an APGAR score, and they rate the baby like on their skin, on their eyes. Like it's just a it's a chart that the doctor goes down, and um, they give the baby like a ranking. And they say that moms that work out, their babies have higher APGAR scores. Um, they 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 actually have uh, their IQs are uh, higher than than moms you know that don't work out. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, there's there's just so many benefits, and then for mom, it's like for me, I'm when I found out that I was going to be preparing myself for this marathon of labor, right? Whatever that looks like, whether it's four hours, twelve hours, like you want to prepare before you go into battle. Like I don't want to go in with like nothing in the tool belt to work with, you know. So for me. <laughs> Yeah, so for me, I was like, okay, what are the what are the best exercises for me to do while I'm pregnant? So a lot of that is uh, squats. A lot of that are, are planks, which are really great for your core. Um, walking towards the end of your pregnancy is awesome when you may not have as much energy, but you still want to get something going, and that also helps the baby get moving too, and gets the baby in position. <laughs> so there's just, I mean, you can you can look up, you know, there's so many different. Uh, benefits to both the mom and the baby when you work out during pregnancy. It's just a matter of if you haven't worked out before your pregnancy, getting yourself into the cycle, into the routine, into that mentality of like what those benefits are going to do for you. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could not, I could not. Obviously, obviously like, I'm never going to be pregnant. However, uh, 
like from my perspective, like I've, I've just I've never seen anything that says that a woman shouldn't pregnant uh, or shouldn't exercise while pregnant. And um, just the idea, the logical, just like you made it extremely logical right there. If you didn't have anything in your tool belt walking in, like if you're not in shape walking into this outrageously strenuous activity that you're going to go through, and you it might last, you know, a day, two days, where yeah. you're just in the entire time. If you're not in shape to do that. That puts you at risk, and it puts your baby at even more risk. You know, when it, when the time comes to push, I think yeah. you want to be able to, you know. Right. And it, you know, it makes. Pregnancy go by, they, there's, there's, um, there's different, you know, tests that they've done and, and, and just research out there that says that moms that work out have uh, quicker pregnancies, faster pregnancies as well. So again, everything's subjective, I'm sure, you know, to what the mom's eating, what she did before she got pregnant. For me, I always kept my eating, again, really super healthy and clean. And again, like I said, I have a sweet tooth. I like to indulge in dark chocolate and, you know, things that, yeah. you know, it's like every woman I think gets that, but I do it in a smart way. Like I'm not going in and diving into a cookie jar and eating a whole fleet of cookies. Like if I'm going to, it's going to be probably a homemade cookie that I made and I'm going to have one or two at the most. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly it. It's like, like it, there's nothing wrong with pizza. Pizza gets this really bad reputation, right? But there's nothing wrong with pizza. You just don't get to eat an entire pizza. Yeah. If you're it's trying control. To- I think that's what a lot of people struggle with because they want they want to know that they can still do these things, but they have to have themselves the self control and the willpower to know when to stop. <laughs> Not uh, a much easier said than done, of course, but. But yeah, that's uh, that's a huge, huge portion of it. So, um, by the way, guys, Sandy has a uh, a one week meal planner. Where what's the website for that? Yeah, so it's businessandbody.com. And and if you go on there and you, you all it is, you put in your email address, and she'll send you a, a free uh, little deal on a one. It's it's one week meal planner, right? And it's all the your favorite meals, right, that you've had yeah. while you were pregnant. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And again, for me, like I think, and I mean, and I'll share this. I don't, I think a lot of women don't talk about weight, you know, when they're pregnant or at all. But for me, I don't mind sharing because it's part of what I do. So I've gained, right. I'm at about 19, a 19 pound weight gain, 19, it's between 19 and 20 pounds. Um, That's for, great. And they say, like, I mean, a healthy weight gain is between 20 to 35 pounds, again, but depending on where you started. Um, but it's, it's not even about like, okay, how much did I not gain or how much, like, I mean, did I gain it that, that you want to be careful with, but you just want to be giving your body like all the nutrients it needs to, to give the baby what it needs. You know, like I take my prenatal vitamins. I, again, I keep up with my workouts. I eat super, super healthy. And I think when your attention is on the, the right things and, and when you're focused on, okay, this is for my baby. And even afterwards, like if a mother's breastfeeding, like that's still always going to the baby. Um, you know, you kind of get a little bit more of a shift and uh, um, like ambition, I think, to to want to eat healthier because you know now it's not just you. Yeah, yeah. I would think I would think it would increase your your priority level on a like a yeah. crazy level, really. But yeah. Um, well, what, like, tell tell the people, like, what got you started in exercise in the first place? Like, like, what's the backstory on on Sandy Glant exercising? Yeah, so I mean, I've always I've always just enjoyed it. Like, I mean, I know it's, some people might be like, "She's crazy!" Like, what do you mean you enjoy working out? <laughs> um, I'm a little crazy, but I am too. So it, yeah, I, I understand. I mean, I've always enjoyed it. I think for me, like, I I don't know. I mean, for some things like in life, I used to do wedding planning, like back, gosh, four yeah. over four years ago, I was uh, doing wedding planning in Pennsylvania. And that, yeah. as you can imagine, is so demanding. Like you're working with, you know, so most of the brides were great to awesome. get a little crazy. <laughs> but um, for me, it was like, almost like an anxiety, like buster. Like I would go work out and I'd be like, oh my God, like I just felt so much better after I was done my workout. So it was like a stress yeah. release. It was an anxiety, you know, like for me, I, I'd be worrying about, oh my God, like, you know, these girls are, are putting their, the, 
the biggest day of their life in my hands. So, yeah. you know, there's some anxiety that comes with that. <laughs> so um, having just a high stress job, um, that probably was kind of what started it. But it wasn't until I moved down to Miami, again, like about four years ago, that I really started getting into it because kind of just the culture down here. I mean, everyone's half naked all the time anyway. You know, you're walking around in, <laughs> in bathing suits and, you know, it's never cold. You never have a, really a cold day here. So um, I think just like my awareness for how much I really enjoyed it um, is what made me dive even more into it. And then once so, I got engaged, I was like, okay, now I need to go in and, and do the whole shedding for the wedding thing. So the shedding <laughs> for the wedding turned into, you know, fit mom to be, you know, expecting mom. And then that really kind of took off because I found this community of other women that had the same outlook as I did. Like they wanted to be healthy for themselves and for their baby. So um, it's kind of like this niche that I found and I love it because I get to connect with all these women that have the same, you know, outlook and want to live healthy, but also yeah. want to indulge, but want to do it in the right way. Yeah. So what's, what's one of the ways that you indulge that, that doesn't completely, like completely sidetrack your, your whole scenario? Yeah. So I make this, um, it's called like a chunky monkey ice cream. And all it is is frozen bananas and um, a little bit of almond milk. And then um, I have like a protein powder that I put in that I use and you, you know, okay. chocolate or vanilla, whatever. And it's literally like, and, or and in some almond butter or, or peanut butter. Cause I couldn't eat that out of the jar. If I was, you know, if I yeah. 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 <laughs> but, um, and there's, and that's the thing, like your body knows what to do with real ingredients. Your body doesn't know what to do with, if you look, if you turn over the back of an ice cream, you know, carton and there's all these like, yeah hydrogenated oils and all these ingredients you can't even pronounce it your body stores it as fat and that's that's when you know we get those things that we don't want on our body <laughs> yeah yeah that's uh that's one of my things with like the people who are just can just throw down and say like sugar is the worst thing in the world and it's like well i'd rather have like real sugar than having like all this like kind of ed like additive oh, stuff that like to try fruit. to make it sweeter yeah 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 you know, you know, dates, uh, that's another, uh, so that's actually really good for pregnancy. Um, so oh. you can find ways and you can find recipes to take out all the crap, literally the crap that's in, you know, packaged foods and, and all these um, recipes and meals that we're used to buying maybe from a package. And it might be one extra step, but how much, how much really is that when it comes to like what we're putting our bodies into our bodies and to our families. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, it's and it's like in the long run, it's just not that big of a change, you know. Like the, the different, uh, it, and you'll probably like it more because you did make it. Because yeah. like exactly, like the, uh, the, love the it gratification. Too. What's that? Like, like if you get your kids involved into cooking or baking, yeah. like. They love it. And then, yeah. I mean, I know for us, one thing Jared and I love to do together, my husband and I, um, we love, like, my husband loves to cook. So I say I cook for, for like, health. So I cook, like, healthy, and my husband cooks for, for flavor. <laughs> so he cooks for, you know, I mean, he'll, he, he's an amazing cook. But, um, you yeah. know, we both said when we have, when we have our son, like, we want him to learn how to cook because it's something I never learned growing up. Um, again, my parents worked, both worked full-time jobs and it was just like, whatever is the easiest, quickest thing to put on the table. So I think if you can teach your kids, like at an early age, it's not hard. It's fun to do. And that's probably the biggest thing is that it's fun. And then they get to like eat what they made and what they created. Like you just make an experience for them. Yeah. And I know a lot of parents think it's like, they're like, they think it's dangerous to, to have a kid, but I would say like contest that like it's it's way more dangerous to not teach them how to use a knife, to not teach them how to use the oven, to, you know, than it is to teach them how to do these things and have them use them. Teach them how to do it the right way. What's that? I was saying teach them how to do it the right way, you know, so they do. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, I know that that was one thing that I took to way more than my, I have three other siblings, and, like, that was one thing that my mom and I did a lot was, like, 
like I was always interested in how she was doing this stuff. And so I ended up just like knowing how to make a lot of things. Yeah. Um, and it kind of came in later because then I could reverse engineer all this other, like this stuff that wasn't so healthy that we made yeah. <laughs> growing up maybe and made so it a little fun. bit healthier. I love doing that. Yeah, it's a, it's really a blast. We were talking about that today because um, I have all these different protein shakes that just kind of made by accident, like just mixed like a, like a cocoa greens with a certain type, like a protein powder or something like that. And it was just like, wow, this is delicious. And it's good for you. Yeah. You know? and it's fun it's, to experiment. Yeah, and find yeah, it's fun to just like, yeah. especially when you get one that's good, when you're like, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Right, right, exactly. And then, you know, even when I, like sometimes when I make my shakes, I'll put in a handful of spinach or I'll do kale or whatever it is just for that extra boost of, of nutrients. Right. Uh, Again, especially not being pregnant, but this is for anybody. This is across the board. Like, why yeah. would you not want to give your body? Because, what, you know, when you eat uh, vegetables, when you're putting all of that into your body, it keeps you fuller for longer. So why wouldn't you Why wouldn't yeah. you want to, to just give your body all of the, the nutrients, you know, that you can? And then take baby steps. Like, I would say someone that, you know, maybe isn't into health and fitness or, or nutrition or doesn't know really a lot about it. Like, don't feel like you have to dive in and know everything at once. Like, take one small baby step at a time. And then, like, keep growing and learn maybe, like, one new thing a day. Yeah. I, yeah, I completely agree. Like, you don't have to – like, I think that holds a lot of people up. But they, they think they've got to do it all or nothing. And it's like, no, you just need to start. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter what it is. You could be a walk around the block and you ate uh, steamed spinach this morning. You know, like, it could be anything. You just need to keep on improving and stepping up your game right. little by little by little. Exactly. And maybe, you know, it's like for them, they're used to eating cereal in the morning and then a burger from McDonald's. I mean, what, I'm not saying McDonald's, I'm not saying, mean, you know, I, I feel a certain way about that, but wherever. And then dinner is, you know, something also unhealthy. So maybe the first step is, okay, instead of Cheerios in the morning, they're making um, eggs. They have hard boiled eggs that they cook, cook up on, you know, a Sunday. And just do a big batch. I mean, if you look in my fridge right now, I literally, I take, we buy four cartons of eggs every, you know, Saturday or Sunday, whatever wow. day grocery day is. And we just, it's it out. yeah, it's so easy. I mean, you, you make them, you store them in the fridge. And then my husband, if, if I'm not up, you know, early to make him breakfast, he takes those and he's out the door and he has something that's healthy that, you know, literally took no time because we already did it. <laughs> right. So and it, it's a, it's kind of a feel state too. You, you're much less like if you have that food prepped and ready, you're you're much less likely to order delivery pizza or to, you know to order something that probably isn't going to go along with the exactly. goals that you have or what. Right, and if you really have like if you really don't have that, um, you know the the uh, the willpower, don't even bring it in the house. Like my husband always oh. says, like you know he's he doesn't have like if we have it in the house, he'll eat it. But for me, if we have something to eat in the house, like I can have one or two bites and be done and be good. But for him, he's like, I'll eat the whole thing, <laughs> you know. So I got so he's like, okay, just like stash it somewhere where I can't see it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, that's what that's Rachel actually. I didn't ask her to. She just started hiding. Rachel is my significant other, but she just started hiding stuff from me because it was yeah. like. If, it could be like there could be a bag of peanut M and M's in a cupboard somewhere, yeah. and if it's not open, like I could not touch it for months. And then once it gets open, it's just like every hour I'm like down there, like or every fifteen minutes, I'm like shoving some in my mouth. I'm like, God, like what the hell am I doing? And uh, eventually, she just go and like hide it from me. It's really funny. Right. right. But, like, yeah. I, I think it is a, a, a male, you know, male female type of a thing. But for me, it's like I get a one little, you know, taste of something and. I'm good, but for my husband, he's like game over. He's like, don't even bring it, don't even show me because it'll be gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's very much like a moderator like that as yeah. well. Like she does a really good job. It's like, oh, I had, I had a few. I've, I've got my taste. I'm good, and I'm just like, Bleh. yeah, that's <laughs> funny. Um, well, where where can they follow you? How can they keep up with you? Um, like, yeah. So um, the where What's that? Is that where are you most active with social yeah. media, blog? So I'm most active on Instagram, and that's just at 
Sandy Gland, and it's Sandy with an I, so S-A-N-D-I Gland. Um, but then I also am on Facebook, and if any of the moms that are out there are interested in joining that Operation Hot Mom Bod Group, all they have to do is message me on either Instagram or Facebook, and I can send them um, the link to join us. And it's, you know, if you're an expecting mom, if you're a new mom, if you're a mom that just enjoys, you know, getting healthy workouts or uh, recipes and workouts and, and inspiration and motivation, that's what that group is for. And then on my website at businessandbody.com. Cool. Awesome. Well, um, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Like uh, you taking time out of your, like, like you could literally go into labor right now so this is a, this is a big deal. I'm glad that we have the friday vibes out there <laughs> what's that i missed you sorry no we're, we're hoping for fr for friday you're hoping for friday yeah, all right like he's got a couple more days to go. <laughs> <laughs> well hopefully it happens just like that just like bang friday you just wake up and it's like well it's time to go I know, I know, but you know, he'll come on his own time, but I'm just like, okay, you know, I've got some little tricks, like I'm drinking this, this is like a raspberry leaf tea that's supposed to, you know, be a little trick in, in helping get your body ready and things to move along. And that's another thing, like in my, um, in the group, uh, as well as on my, on my uh, blog, I'm posting, um, you know, cause I don't, I don't think, I think your body is will be ready to, to go into labor when it's ready. Like you could do, you stand on your head, you do a million things, but your baby's not going to come until it's ready. But I share like what I'm doing, you know, not just like in health and fitness, but what I'm doing also, you know, like pineapples, another little old wives trick to, you know, to get things started. So if any of those other moms are interested, they can check all that out also on my blog. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Th well, like, I really appreciate being here. This, this, uh, thank you. I'm yeah, thank cool. you so much for having me. Yeah, all right. Well, we're gonna end the broadcast, but guys, thanks uh, Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Uh, go follow Sandy on all of those spaces, and, uh, and uh, I think you'll be glad that you did, but thanks, Sandy. Thanks so much. And then...